Right, hello, Mr. Niren here. Welcome back to Warcraft Total War. It's been a while since the last episode. Playing as the Night Elves to the Kaldorai. Okay, so uh, Tucket One over on the Discord for Warcraft Total War has released uh, or has sent to me and one other person a package with Night Elven or Kaldorai voices that he has made. And uh, where the work isn't 100% finished on the map. And in battle, most of, of the, I, I believe most of the battle uh, models have uh, new voices. There are a few that they are silent when you select them, but most of them ha have voices when you select them and when you order them to move and all that. And he has replaced the narrator 100%. Also, on the map, every single agent, I believe, has been replaced said something about the diplomacy screen not being replaced, but uh, when you select the diplomat at least, he has a night elven voice. <coughs> so, um, first of all we have the generals, most of them have the archer generic uh, voice, so the, so the males do not have male voices, but I believe there is an exception. So first of all we have all the generals, there are three generals with unique voices, two of them share, and one has completely unique. So we have cool leader Malfurion Stormrage. He has the generic archer voice. I stand ready. This voice. Point the way. We are yours to command. So if you want to add custom voices to characters on the strategic map or the campaign map, <coughs> then we need to use traits, which can be used to give uh, certain characters their own voices. The problem with that is that if other characters are in the same traits, they will get the same voices. But in this version of Warcraft of the Lord, that isn't a problem because traits do not work, so <coughs> they can't earn traits in the game. The only way to add traits to a character is by using the sheet con console and write give trait and then uh, this when you have selected a character and then write the name of the trait, for example <coughs> to get uh, Maeve's uh, voice on a save game, because she has the wrong trait, you needed to write I believe uh, give trait this and then I believe uh, we'll pause the recording here, I don't remember yeah I'm back, ok give, give trait, if you have selected a hero, then you, you write give trait Notice the space here, and the symbol here you need to use, and uh, lower letters, and then this means the character you have selected, and then you write, in the case of uh, Maeve, she needs dread, but she had chivalry in, in this uh, save. Uh, if you start a new save game after applying his files, she will automatically get uh, the updated traits with dread and such that she needs to get her voice on the campaign map. But if you load a save game, she has the old traits from the get-go, which means she has chivalry instead of dread. So to give her dread, you need to write give trait this, and then you write uh, strategy dread. I believe you need um, big letters, probably. This will give her red if you have her selected. And with Tyrande, she needs chivalry, but has none. And can't earn it in this release because of the malfunctioning traits. So you write give trait this strategy chivalry to give Tyrande her traits, but you need to have her selected. If you have someone else selected, you will give that uh, character the traits instead and therefore he will also get the voices, so if, if I were to give uh, Malfurion here uh, that dread uh, or, or uh, chivalry, then, then he would get Tyrande's or Maeve's voice. Okay, so I've added dread to Maeve Shadowsong, this character. She has one dread, which has her own sound. The hunt awaits. Follow me. We must be cautious. This is the hunt Eve's, awaits. Eve's custom voice. 
I smell something vile upon the wind. The end draws near. So, <clears throat> Naisha wasn't supp supposed to get that voice, but she had dread already. See, she has two dread, so that's why she had the voice already. The hunt awaits. And loading. We must save. hurry. In the new save game, Naisha do not have dread, while uh, Meeve starts with dread. In, in my old save, the one I'm playing, uh, Naisha had dread and has the voice from the get-go and uh, I was forced to use sheets to give Meeve Shadow Song her voice. So they share voice, but I, I think the voice fits a uh, huntress too. The hunt awaits. So that's why I think uh, she should keep it. Uh, as for uh, Tyrande, she needs chivalry instead. Trust in my command. So uh, I cheated her to have chivalry one. She had chivalry, but she didn't have a point here. So unless she has chivalry one or more, she can't uh, speak with her own voice, and anyone that has chivalry will get her voice. As far as I understand it, at least if they are Kaldore. So uh, if, if Brawl Beermantle get chivalry, he will speak like Tyrande, and if he gets dread, he will speak like Mir Shadow Song. Currently, only <coughs> Naisha and Meeve has Meeve's voice, and uh, I believe it could very well be Naisha's voice from the files. I believe the file was named Naisha, probably. I could be wrong, of course. I saw files that were named Nature, but anyway, yeah, and it fit the Huntress, so I guess it could be. But Meeve and Nature share that voice, and then Tyrande has her own voice, but if anyone gets chivalry out of the Kaldore generals, they will get her voice too. And the generic voice is the Archer voice. The, the one the here. This one. I am vigilant. Nah, not that one. I stand ready. Went the way. So that's the generic voice. So the archer of the night elves is the generic one used by all generals that do not have dread or chivalry. And the Tyrande voice is for the ones with chivalry. And the Meeve Shadow Song or Nasha voice is the one uh, for those that have dread. And then we have an admiral. And uh, the admiral has uh, an actual male voice. The time has come. Command me. Of course, uh, it's possible to add more unique voices to characters, but it requires probably to use traits. We also have voices for the agents. Here we have the Dryad Merchant. Are we being invaded? Hi! Is there trouble? Hi! Okay, so that's the Merchant. Then we have the Assassin. I am the Iron Hand of Justice. Ben thy delelune. Have you reached a verdict? Ash falano. Ben thy delelune. Ash falano. Ben thy delelune. I am the iron hand of justice. Alright, then we have the diplomat. I'm listening. I await your command. I'm listening. I await your command. She only has two lines, I believe. Then we have the spy. So, uh, I did uh, make two, two merchants. In the past I did a merchant that is very similar to this diplomat, but used a different hairstyle and different, different colors. I used one of the other sentinels for the, for the merchant and one for the diplomat. So this is the diplomat, and then I used another one the merchant, but then I decided to make the merchant a little bit more unique, so I made the dryad the merchant, and uh, I also decided to make the fey dragons the, the spies, because they, because they are small and such, the, Which way? See, um, I made this to spy because it made sense. Because they are small fairy dragons and could spy on enemies for the night elves, and it's a cool strat model. I thought it would be cooler than having just 
another night elf. But I'm planning on actually replacing this Show me one the path. with uh, the female that I had originally made for the role of the merchant. So we'll have uh, another sentinel as the, sp uh, as the spy. Because now we have a voice and it's weird to hear the fairy dragon or fey dragon speak. Which way? Show me the path. Doesn't fit. So I will most Which likely way? replace this one with, with the other sentinel so, so that the voice will fit. And that's the strat map. You also have the, I believe, I forgot the priestess. Night Elven priestess. It feels good to be in the wilds. 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 Okay. It feels good to be in the wilds. It feels good to be in the wilds. It feels good to be in the wilds. Okay, she has one line. Maybe she has two, but I don't know. Sounded like she had one. Okay, I was going to replace this model. Show me the path. Guide before me. Before starting and loading the save because um, <clears throat> the game is al already loading this model, but if I replace this model Show me the path. with a model that has the same name, so if I name the other model the Fairy Dragon or something and then copy this because I don't want to del delete this model, it's still a unique model, it's pretty cool and it works, but Guide um, me. it works in any role. All the strat models share animations. You can use any strat model in any role. They can be generals, captains, spies, merchants, assassins, and they can be priests, and they can be diplomats. So, could still be used in, in a role, soldier role, and a different agent role. I don't know, but I think we will replace it with the the, the one I used for the merchant previously and. Uh, <clears throat> to do so, I just need to shut down the game and uh, rename this to something else and copy it. And uh, need to copy this file and then rename rename the copy to something else. And then then I need to delete this model and uh, and add the, the, the human. I mean the night elf female and and give that model the same name. If I give it a different name would need to edit the text file and that would not be compatible with the save game but if I delete this model after copying it and then rename the night elven female to the same name then the game will load the night elven female instead uh, there could be one problem with that and that's uh, oh I forgot I can't do that uh, I will need to wait on the next release with replacing the fairy dragon so for now she, he the, the fairy dragon will have this voice the reason is that he will load the wrong textures and such uh, he would load the model but wouldn't have the right textures if I edit the file that changes the textures and the models then I believe that we would end up with uh, show with me the path the, uh, I believe uh, if I edit the text file and replace the line with, with textures that fit the humanoid instead of the fairy dragon, I believe it, that would render the save game um, like uh, unplayable. I, I don't think I can, can replace this model during a playthrough because it has, way? It has different textures than, than the other model. It would load the model, but it wouldn't load the textures. And if I edit the text file, I don't think I can load the save. Okay, so we will be stuck with the fairy dragon as the spy, despite having a female voice. Guide me. Uh, but in the next release, I'm likely to replace this fairy dragon with an actual female uh, night elf. Let's get going. Okay. <clears throat> also, in battle, we have voices too. So, uh, Tucket 1 has replaced the narrator 100% for the Night Elves or the Kaldori. So, we have a new, like, narrator of the battles. And then we have, uh, and it's Tyrande's voice. 
so the same voice as when we click on Tyranny. I await your command. She has more lines. And then I believe that most of the units also have custom voices, all the male units and uh, monster units and uh, female units have that now. But when I received the file, there were a few issues that I had to fix. Uh, one of the issues I had to fix was that the, 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 the characters <coughs> still had uh, many of the characters. I believe there are two variations. Uh, you have like uh, in, in the export desk unit file, you have like light, heavy and general um, voice types for each unit. And then you have also ac accents. Uh, which separates factions and units from each other. So for example, if you give a different fac if you give a faction a different accent, you can give that faction faction specific uh, like voices that are not shared with other factions. But by adding the line, uh, the accent line to a unit, you can give the uh, same voices as that faction to a unit of a different faction without giving the rest of that faction and that voice so he had like added male voices and he had added female voices and he had added some sounds for the chimera and the, and the tree ants and such but he had forgotten about one file uh, which cost, cost the females and other units that didn't use the accent calorie 2 I believe the ones that use calorie 1 didn't have the accent in the EDU because it wasn't required because it's a generic accent. The problem with that was that it kind of caused the units to have the vanilla groans and, and moans and, and chants and such. So I had to delete all those lines for, for all the units that didn't have a, an accent specified out of the Kaldora units and uh, by removing a bunch of uh, entries, vanilla entries. I managed to remove the, the the vanilla grounds and vanilla vanilla shans and such. I mean uh, male shans and male grounds and such. Uh, for female units didn't sound right, so you would have like elven archers. When you selected them, they had the elven archer voice. When you selected them to move, they had, had the elven archer voice, but when you had the camera hovering over the unit, they, they chanted and uh, groaned and, and spoke in, uh, in English uh, like a normal vanilla male. So I had to remove those uh, and try in order to silence those vanilla voices. Also, there were a few units that didn't... Uh, I believe all the units had voices when you selected them to move. And such, but I believe that there were a few that didn't have any voice when we when I selected the actual unit, <clears throat> such as the, the mountain giant, the ancient of war, the fairy dragon, and I believe the avenger, archer, and, uh, and then there might be the the sentinel bodyguard too. And uh, to solve that, I actually had to. <clears throat> experiment a little bit with the file. I, I got advice from Tucket One on what file I should change and such. So I, I uh, in essence, I had to, to add lines to the export desk unit file and then I had to add lines to, to a different file. And uh, yeah, it required in tries in, in both those files. And I added, for example, the same sound as the three ends for the Ancients of War and the Mountain Giant <coughs> as placeholders. I think the tree and sand fit well for the Ancients of War as well. Uh, well, it uh, didn't fit 100% with the Mountain Giants, but <coughs> it was the best one I had for the units it fits uh, for now. It's better than no sand uh, when selecting the unit. And, and then I believe for the Sentinel bodyguard I added the same sand as for the Sentinels it fit very well as it's pretty much the same unit just a bodyguard version of it and then the avengers i believe i gave them the same as the moon strikers <coughs> as they are another elite um, archer unit and uh, then we had the fairy dragon and i gave them the sound of the chimera 
I thought that she made a sound uh, sounded a little bit too powerful for a little fairy dragon. You know, they are not very big. The, the fairy dragons are fairy dragons, but for now it was better than <coughs> than using vanilla medieval two sound or no sound at all. Okay, so I've added those and tries to the night elves. So you can say that all the night elven units have custom voices now in battle, except the 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 um, <coughs> siege engine because I didn't have any good um, like sun for them and also they are males so it doesn't matter if they speak with uh, vanilla voice I believe also that they might have the voice of um, the other uh, night elven males if it doesn't then I might actually add that later in the next video add the, the one of the male voice lines for, for them. I mean, we have a bunch of different ones. We have, I believe, the soldiers, the, I believe the soldiers, spearmen, and such fair voice. And then we have the volunteers, they have a different one, I believe. And then we have uh, the druids, they have different ones. Ta druids of the Talon is one, and druids of the Claw is another. Uh, so there are a bunch we can choose from. And then we have the Shadow Glen Guardians, they also have a unique one. And the keepers of the grow and the dryads, but the dryads are females. Okay, uh, so, so we have a bunch of different male voices. So I, I will just pick one for the crew of the siege engine if they do not have one already. That's the only unit I didn't check. Okay, because that unit is go going to get be removed in the future anyway. Can't be used against walls, and it's a Warhammer siege engine with a. a Night Elven crew. Crew is unique though. It could be used for a different engine, I believe. Tried with another faction, but using the Night Elven crew. Uh, okay. And um, then that's not all that I did. <coughs> While I didn't touch the strat map of other factions, I did touch the battle map. So you can expect, for example, Sylvanas Windrunner's bodyguard in battle have uh, a custom voice shared with one of the night elven units and then you can expect the dark rangers to have the same as the moon strikers too and for the high elves and blood elves you can also expect the archers to, sh to share the voice in battle with the night elven archers for now in, in world of three they have the same voice lines the high elves and the night elves and the blood elves are pretty much the high elves so. um, and then I believe I added the Moonstriker's voice to the, <coughs> to the Rangers of the High and Blood Elves too. And then I believe I gave the Blood Shade the same voice as the Sentinels. And then I gave the Sorceress the same voice as the Moonstriker's too. Uh, I know that uh, Tucket One said that he is going to make a new package for the High Elves and Blood Elves because he wants to play as the Kingdom of Veltalas, the High Elves wants them to have proper voices before he plays them. So when he is done with that work he will probably send the files and then I will obviously replace any files for those factions with his work but for now I have added Night Elven placeholders to all the females so that we do not have male voices for females in this mod. I did an exception for human females because I didn't have any suitable voices so humans still have male voices and the uh, same is true for any dwarves and and you know goblins and such. Uh, I didn't add any of the night elven voices to others than elves. So under the elves and the blood elves and high elves and the night elves but I didn't add it to Naga either. I didn't, I didn't think it fit you know. So the Naga do not have any custom voices. Uh, so I had also a VIP from 2019 where I had added human voices uh, but failed to add them properly. I will try that again. I think I know now more than back then and also I followed three guides back then so I had probably a pretty good uh, overview over the process and such but there, there was t uh, there was a file, there were three files actually in Work of the Lord that had <coughs> mounts, uh, mountain tries and those mounts had been removed so the sound couldn't compile because uh, the file 
believe it, the, the game was searching for those mounts and, and the files for those mounts had been removed from the files. So it was a Raptor unit, a very old Raptor mount from, from like the demo of Warcraft of the War from 2017. Very old mount, Warcraft 3 mount. And then there was another one, Frag Raptor or something. Uh, I don't remember, but anyway, there were two mounts that needed to be removed, and Tucket One had removed them, and after that he could compile the sound files perfectly, and, and I can do that now, so it, the, the mode can get new music and new voices, but adding voices seems to be uh, like a tedious process, because you need to spend a lot of time adding and tries to a million different lines, so, um, <coughs> I might try doing the humans at a later date, but now I want to continue the campaign. Okay, so we are back in the Night Elven or Kaldora campaign. We are on turn 10. We have, ten, we have uh, as far as I can see, 10 regions. Or 18 regions, actually. That's pretty good. We have taken the Nag areas. <coughs> Capital City is Nora the tree. Fucking leader is co leader Arthurian Stormrage together with Tyrande Witzbrevin, the other co leader, cool leader, the only one is shown here. Uh, Malfurion is also the greatest general. We have 11 generals, regions controlled 18, cities 8, castles 10, battles won 8, battles lost 0. Here is 21 after the Dark Portal. We are playing the Reign of Chaos early campaign. The timeline is correct. <coughs> to win we need to hold 50 regions and eliminate the factions of the Horde and Kirai and the Naga. For the Naga they are not present on the map, they are already defeated pretty much. So the ones we need to defeat are the Horde and, and Kirai, but I will count the Burning Legion too instead of the Naga. In, in a future release the Burning Legion will be one of the goals. Probably. The reason I didn't have them in the goal is because the AI can never defeat them if that's the case, because they have areas over here too, and the AI never goes to other continents with huge armies, unless they have areas there. To the, ben exception, to the exception is if they have an area there, they could go from Northrend to, to Eastern Kingdom too. I've seen the Drakari land troops here and the Skull Crusade, but the Skull Crusade ha have areas in both are uh, in both on both continents. Uh, in the Frozen Throne campaign, well, the Drakari do not have areas here, but sometimes when they border uh, this area, like uh, they have a water border, they can still send ships here. They send far too few troops uh, on those ships, like one or two units, so can't do much, it's the AI. We are that yours, few units. Command. All right. So I kind of want to replace the fairy dragon. But I believe that the texture would be messed up. Okay, so we will keep it for now. Is there trouble? We will start the battle. I fight envisioned. the battle of blood mist. For the goddess. Okay, it's a similar battle to previous battles. We have a uh, Marlock settlement here, Naga village, and uh, we'll fight the battle. We are controlling Trend the Whisperwind, co-leader of the faction, her army. And we do not need to save as we started here when we started the game. We will just fight the battle on the battle map. The balance of power is six one in our favor. Enemy is Atop the Blood Cursed, which is a Naga General's name. I didn't change the names. He has 646 Murlocs, similar almost to the ones we have defeated previously. Let's fight the battle on the battle. Okay. I will pause the recording here. Start deployment. Yes. So the male characters still have vanilla voices when we hover over them. Because it made sense. But this 
places when they love voices and remove them for the female units and for the monsters. Leading the way. So when we select the, a border guard unit like Tyrande here, she won't have uh, a voice when we select her, but she has a voice when we move her Onward. and order her. The goddess agrees. Okay, there were one bodyguard where I managed to add As a I voice, and that was the sentinel's bodyguard. However, <coughs> Tyrand here didn't work. Uh, while the tiger, I believe, works fine at normal unit, but not the bodyguard of the hero. And the same is true for any bodyguard of a custom hero. Here we have the saw, the spearman. Command me. Command me. By the spirits. By the spirits. All right. Onward. Leading the way. We have I'm these guys. Here. We must act. The time has come. We must act. The time has come. At last. By the spirits. Alright. Also, the enemy might charge us because I played this pattern previously without recording. He didn't plan on playing it, I just tried out the voices and the Murlocs actually attacked. So they sensed us and charged. These are the warriors. They have the same voice as the spearmen. The <coughs> mounted night elven warriors, more of the spearmen and swordsmen. Here we have a unique one there, Shadow Living Guardians. By the spirits, is there danger? By the spirits, Anator Anator. By the spirits, Anator Anator. Okay. I believe they share some of this sound with other men. And Share some of it, and uh, some of it is unique. Okay, <clears throat> then we have the archers. On your mark. Waiting on you. On your mark. Waiting on you. Same heart. Let's move. We move her away from the other Fair units. Enough. You can hear that there are no male voices. The vanilla Let's males. Let's move. Let's move. The vanilla male voices is uh, they they are from the male units. So they didn't remove them from those. Fair enough. Let's move. Done. Let's move. Five meter spread, no sound. Fair enough. Alright. <coughs> Say no more. All too easy. All too easy. And we have the druids of the talon. By the great winds I come. Out with it. By the great winds I come. Is there danger? The time has come. Out with it. All right. Place the round over here instead in the middle. She so wants her to be able to aid. Okay, now for the army. I know they might attack. So you want to group them. They only have a very few javelin throwers. I think we'll place them in in the shield wall. Then we have the spearmen. Also be in shield wall. Then we have the archers. On your mark, on your mark, on your mark. As I thought. Be in loose formation. We didn't have any moon strikers here in this army. We have the shadow and guardians. Assemble. Be in shield wall too. And Tyrande will be As in loose formation. 
fucking group the tigers. Not the swordsman. Yeah, something went wrong. Spearmen weren't grouped. Warriors of the night. So when we group them, we hear the sound of Trand, uh, because that's a menu sound, not a unit sound. Waiting on you. Waiting on you. Trust in my command. We are poised to strike, as I thought. Right. By the great winds, I the druid could also be a loose formation. Placed on there. No, I don't want the druid. I think it's cheating almost. The druids are still too OP. It's not fun when they kill everyone. But they will still use them in battles when other when the enemy has mages too. But not against the enemies that do not have mages unless I just want to get rid of the the rebel army. Okay, so we will play like this. I need to pause the game because it's nice to control the general in battle. You want to control Tyrande in the battle, of course. Okay, see you soon. It worked. I'm controlling the hero. It's like last time. Okay. Start the battle. I think we won't do that here. We'll have one line and we'll place them there. And then we have the spearmen. The other elite spearmen, but maybe I don't want the elite ones to do anything. I want one line here. Then we can have the elite ones could be on the side here. By the here and uh, cavalry I think we can move away they are not needed against the murlocs and uh, archers can stay where they are Tyrande can move away too Start the battle. Here are our archers. So in the last uh, last time I checked out this battle to check out the, the voices, the Murlocs came from nowhere and started to attack us. We hadn't even fired at them. I was surprised. We had a huge battle here, but the army still st stood over here. And uh, the battle took place here, and a lot of Marlocks died, and we lost a lot of troops too. Most of my army didn't even fight in the battle. I placed the uh, Tyrannus bodyguard, the moon, the moon priestesses, on circle and shoot formation. side would come here then go this way and then, then they will run straight into our spear lines here our spearmen we have the better troops positioned here to prevent them from going towards the archers the archers would also run away if they get too close they would like them to focus on their shitty troops 
these guys I think could uh, move over here if I don't want them to fight I want them to protect the archers I believe they are selling out the big contingent our spearmen and swordsmen will fight them command me There they come. They will run into our troops. We group them in one group. Okay, we can zoom in on these guys. Fighting there. Whole section. Ok. 
Okay, that means we will move them in there. And these guys will move in on those guys. Should just stand there. We break the line. percent lost five percent of our troops this battle was a little bit different than the others because they decided to actually sally out even though it isn't a battle where they sallied out we were attacking and they didn't hadn't sallied out but they sallied out because we probably were standing too close to them they could sense us the AI waste our worst units, units first. Of course the spearmen and the, the warriors they are better than the volunteers. They are not very good. They are the basic troops of the night elves. Or medium troops. Even low tier medium troops. Here, basic troops. So this is one of the last Murloc areas in, uh, I believe, in this region. We have another one too on an higher solar cell, but we won't go there yet. We want to take other areas first, from the Furbogs. We also want to aid Terramore. They might be destroyed. Our ally in this campaign. Only ally in, Ka in Kalimdor. The continent where we are we're based. So we want to prevent the Horde from defeating them. They have good troops, but in order to resolve the Horde almost always wins. So we want to aid them so they can they can fight in free time battles and make use of their troops. <coughs> it's enough if we send one unit there and start the battle. Then they might actually win against the horde on the battlefield where they would lose in after the soul. So you want to send an army to Terramor as soon as possible. Okay, what's the situation with the archers? They are not firing. I see. Fire on these Murlocs, it's fine. You just need to get a little bit closer, I think. They have a very long range, they might need to move past the Guardians, Shadowland Guardians. They needed to move a little bit closer. Here. Killed 56% of the Merlock army, lost 7% of our troops in the process. Right. We have a few units here. Well, we can charge that unit now. Also fire on those guys. Didn't know that they were fighting here. They sent the rest of the troops here now too. The rest of the basic troops. I wanted the archers to fire on them too. They will start fire soon. They seem to have had the numerical advantage. Troops here. Now we are starting to get the middle 
advantage and kill them off from afar too. Hunters. 